Hello, good morning guys. It is Saturday on July, I think the 21st. I'm kind of forgetting my date since I've been on vacation. So just finished up a five mile run, hard run. I did a, I get a quick look at Strava. I did a five miles in an average pace of uh, 8.58. And so tomorrow will be my long run. Um, I need to do about 11 or 12 miles. I'm a, bit, I'm a little bit behind my pace on training right now with that vacation. Kind of set me back a bit and uh stacy i'm gonna walk for a second stacy has a family emergency out in california so it's just me and alec here at home and um so i'm trying to squeeze in runs early in the morning when he's still sleeping but you gotta do what you gotta do i guess anyway so if i didn't get my training in, training in in my 20s and 30s man i was just grumpy and irritated and I was very selfish in my 50s now it's um, I really don't care a whole lot I mean I just I'm enjoying kind of the process of being able to go back out and do this stuff got a lot of friends that you know can't do this so definitely I'm blessed to be able to do the things that I do but I want to keep it going as long as I can as well um, so yeah a little bit behind pace so that's okay we'll, we'll make it up at some point and again I'm just going to try to enjoy this race as much as possible i gotta get some hills in so i think i'll do the hills next week when stacy's back in town and i got a work trip coming up so i got a lot of things coming up that's gonna really um, interrupt the training for me but again the goal is not to not to place it's just to enjoy the race and, and have a good time too so anyway that's kind of where i am now um me and alec are gonna have a just a good guys weekend and go do some adventure stuff here around our neighborhood and go swimming and stuff like that so we'll take the camera out and show you guys around texas as well have a great day so back at the house i'm not able to film while i'm running in the night time because uh or in the early morning because it's so dark out you can't see me and he i think you can hear is hear me breathing and and see kind of a dark image running and talking so that's kind of weird um so there's a lot of things to think about when i'm running and that's why I don't like wearing headphones. Typically, I like to run without any, you know, GPS or Garmin's and just kind of run for feel. But, you know, your your brain kind of goes all kinds of different directions. And um, you have really good, you know, interesting ideas and thoughts and things like that when you do that. So I highly suggest just unplugging and just going out for a run and then, you know, listen to your body and, and just see where your mind goes with your ideas and thoughts and stuff. Um, one thing I was thinking about, you know, like, why do we do this? Why do we run... Why do I like running so much? I got a lot of reasons for why I like to run. Um, I'll, I'll talk about that later on, but one of them is, you know, it's hard. This running's a, not an easy sport. It's, it bangs up your body, it's hard, but it, I like it because not many people can do it or enjoy doing it. So it's, it does take you to a different level. And I think it makes your whole life better because um, you can do things that a lot of people can't do. You're just mentally stronger to do that stuff. So that's why I like it. Um, I also like it because, you know, I'm in my mid-50s, I have a five-year-old. I got married way, way late in life and very blessed to actually have a have a son. But I want to I want to stay healthy and fit for him. You know, it, it kind of tore me up in January when he was like, he was watching Thor with my wife. And, of course, <laughs> he's like, Daddy, how come you're so fat? You know, well, he's watching Thor. And I'm like, oh, man. So that was kind of a wake-up call for me. I need to get, you know, get in better shape and... Um, be able to do the things that he wants to do when he gets a little bit older too so that's that's part of my motivation um is to do that and there will be a day um that i'm not going to be able to do this anymore it's going to be a, all of us are going to wake up one day and not be able to, to run so i definitely want to keep running as long as i can it's a great sport
Well, Sunday morning long run is done in the bank, and uh, that was a tough one. That was a tough one today, but um, I'm having to kick up my mileage a lot faster than normal. Um, faster than I tell anybody ever to do this because I, I've my race is coming up a lot quicker than I had thought, and uh, I got to get those miles miles in before. Uh, before it's too late to get some base miles. So normally I would not tell anybody to, to ramp up their mileage like I'm doing right now. So I'm kind of on the razor's edge as, as far as injuries and things like that. Cause my calf muscles are really tight. You know, they're sort of the touch. So, which is kind of a sign for getting shin splints and um, or even possibly shin or um, yeah, shin splints and, and um, a fracture, a stress fracture too. So anyway, that's kind of what, uh, yeah, I think I did 11 and a half, 12 miles today. So, um, and it was right around two hours. So it wasn't super fast, but just, you know, pretty, you know, pretty decent for not running for a couple of years. Anyway, um, that's the mileage for today. So I'm actually done for the week. I'm going to take tomorrow off and recover. I might do some weights maybe. Um, but I'm going to just take it real easy and, and kind of get ready for this next week. Anyway, I was, uh, when I was running, I was uh, thinking, I don't know if you can see what I'm wearing here. Um, yeah, this gray i always tell people don't buy colored shorts gray blue white as you can see these are completely soaking wet well i was sitting down here a second ago but yeah it's uh during my run i saw a friend of mine he was out running and as we passed past each other I waved at him and i kind of looked down just to look at my stride and stuff and just the front part of my shorts looked like i weed myself um and it's always like a weird thing before the shorts com get completely soaking wet there's like you have this just wet spot right in the middle, so it just looks like you peed your pants or something. Anyway, don't ever buy, just buy black shorts. Keep it simple. Anyway, have a great day. Thanks for watching.